Can I get an Uber? Yeah, there's the zombies here. Canada. Hey guys, today we're gonna to take a look at this. This is Death Road to Canada from East Asia Soft. Um, it's a limited release uh, that came out in 3,000 copies. And this is number 95. It's a pretty low number, so I'm stoked to have this one. We're gonna take a look at what's inside uh, and see if it's worth to pick up on the second hand market. This is a Play Asia exclusive. They release their exclusives through the company. I think it's it's a separate company called East Asia Soft, um, and you can only get these on Play Asia. Uh, this is a really cool one. I really like this one. We actually played this game uh, on the stream before uh, quite a few times. I know. Naxwing Niklas loves this game. It's one of his favorite games. I haven't played it that much because since he loves it so much I always let him play and uh, You can be you can be up to four players, but I Wasn't as stoked as he is on the game And it's actually quite some time since I played it so it's gonna be cool to check it out again. Uh, I I really enjoy I enjoy the, the titles that you can get from from Play Asia the exclusives. I think it's uh, it's some some pretty nice titles like RX and Raijin and and uh, some upcoming games that we're gonna take a look at. Um, but first, let's take a look inside of this one. Here you can see the number. Uh, they always have this this holographic sticker, or what you call it, with the number there. Uh, and as always, you know what I always do? I open the games from the bottom. Why is that? I don't want the creases. <sighs> this is so scary every time. here. The first thing you find in the box is this. This is the certificate that tells you that you have number 95 out of 2500. I actually thought it was 3000 but it's 2500 so that's even better. This uh, makes me feel like a chosen one. If you look at it out of like 9 10 billion people I'm one of 2500 people that have this game in a physical release that's pretty awesome actually that's pretty awesome I feel I feel uh, chosen and very special the next thing we have is the soundtrack and I love this this art I think this is this is really cool uh, the interesting thing is that we have one of these um, paper spines, these inlays or what you call them. Just like uh, it used to be on, was it the, the Japanese Saturn games? Saturn? Saturn games? Sega Saturn? Um, so that's, that's pretty, pretty nice. I'm sorry, but I, I ain't gonna open this one. I always keep my my soundtracks, uh, you know, wrapped up in plastic. So I'm sorry, I'm not gonna open this, but it looks like that. Next up, we have the actual game. And I think this one has a reversible cover art. This is what the original cover art looks like. But if we take this out from here, 
we can see that, that it's a reversible cover. And here you have more of a, a proper realistic type of, you know, art. Um, and on this side you have a pixel, uh, pixelated cover art. I really like this one much more than I like this one. So I, I probably will, yeah, I want to go for that one. I think that's, that's pretty badass. Uh, the back cover is the same, I think, on both. Yeah, it's the same. So it's just the, the, the cover that's, that's different. The back cover looks like, looks like that. Nothing, nothing, you know, uh, nothing extreme. It's just, yeah, a cool, cool back piece. That's the cover art with a pixelated, pixelated cover. Super nice. Inside the case, we got this, the manual. It's printed in a, in a sort of matte, uh, on a matte paper. I think you can see it there. Uh, the cover is, is like the, the first cover on the case and inside you have stuff like controls, text, 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 weapons, text, vehicle, text, events, text, challenges, text, uh, and then notes in the back. Here you can, you can type your codes and numbers to friends and stuff. So yeah, that's the, the manual. Nothing super special, but yeah, cool. Uh, the last thing here is the cartridge. It looks like that. So is this a cool game? Yeah, it's, it's a pretty nice game. Um, you can play four player co-op and the object of the game is to get from the States to Canada to safety because, because there's like uh, a zombie apocalypse. Different types of characters, some of them have buffs and some of them have, I think you call it debuffs, like they have weaknesses and stuff. This is a pretty nice edition. Um, I especially like these uh, these cards that tell you you are special, you are one of few. Um, and it's actually got some, some really nice in-game graphics on the back side here. Of this little cute character and billions of zombies around it. So yeah, these, these are super cool. I think this is, apart from the game, this is probably the most important thing for the actual collection. I'm gonna put this back and keep it like that until I get a CD player again uh, when it's super vintage. Then I might, you know, take the CD out and and uh, be a cool guy that plays CDs like they did, you know, ages ago. So uh, yeah, this will stay in the box until. I want to use the CD or something, which I doubt I will. Uh, the game I can pick out and put in the, in the shell if I want to play it. So this is this is how I do it. I usually save the the stickers and stuff in the in the box and put it on the shelf. Oh yeah, I forgot this. Uh, you also get the the sticker. You always get a sticker from PlayAsia. Uh, this says number seven, I think. It looks like a one, but it says number seven on the on the spine here. So I would assume it's number seven. So uh, check it out. Uh, a lot of the games from um, East Asia Soft, Play Asia, they're still available on um, on the Play Asia website. So uh, check out Play Asia, and you can pick up super cool limited edition games uh, for the Nintendo Switch. Like we always say, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, 
because if you don't we will release the zombie apocalypse so be sure to give us a thumbs up or all hell will break loose <laughs>